The Centennial Botanical Conservatory is a hidden gem in Thunder Bay. Located at 1601 D Street, it houses flowering plants, shrubs and trees from around the world, as well as many outdoor gardens. The Friends of the Conservatory is a volunteer organization that was created with the goal of encouraging the community to visit and appreciate the beauty of the conservatory. Kathleen Ott is the chairperson for the Friends of the Conservatory and she loves that the conservatory is now considered a vibrant part of the community. So I was here on Friday and we were building the, um, the gardens and there was people all over the place just enjoying every aspect of the conservatory and that's really what we wanted to see. It, it's just so wonderful to see people here all the time and the place looks amazing. It's, it's so beautiful here. Over the last three years, the Friends of the Conservatory have helped implement many changes. Last year, a community garden was created just outside the front doors to encourage the community to come out and experience the conservatory during the summer months. This year, after it being such a success last year, we just took it to the next level. The straw bale garden is bigger. We wanted to uh, do an education program with the children, teach them about gardening. Um, so that's how it all came to be. Another forward-thinking initiative at the conservatory is the creation of a straw bale gardening space. So straw bale gardening is a new technique uh, uh, in gardening. It's uh, where you take a, a straw bale and you condition it for three weeks with fertilizer and water. And what it does, it starts to decompose inside the straw bale and makes a compost, so a nice warm environment uh, that you put the plants right into the straw bale. It eliminates uh, weeding and it's great for people with disabilities because they don't have to bend. You can make the bales at whatever height is uh, good for you. The Friends of the Conservatory also hold events to encourage children to get outside and learn about gardening. I like when you grab the spade and you start to dig up different things. And the joy of just the next morning seeing, finally seeing those sprouts is just really happy. And it's nice when you finally see them all grown and if you're growing vegetables or fruits, it's nice to finally yeah, taste them. Yeah, and you don't even have to buy. Gardening is definitely something that I Gardening enjoy and I think other yep. people would enjoy, so Gardening. I definitely recommend it. Kathleen has been very involved for the last few years and has witnessed firsthand all of the positive changes. I had the opportunity to see how places like this are appreciated outside of Thunder Bay and we have this gorgeous gem here and it was being neglected and that's how the small group on the executive started was just trying to, to save it and, and get it growing again. I feel such pride in the work that's been done in the last two years. It's, when I saw the attendance numbers for February at 2000, I was blown away and um, it's just, um, it just gets you because we knew how wonderful it was and now we see that everybody in Thunder Bay knows how wonderful it is. If you love gardening and have some free time, the Friends of the Conservatory are always looking for volunteers to help out with their many projects. We are in real need for volunteers. Um, what we've been doing so far has been done by a small group of volunteers and um, we really want to expand our volunteer program so we're urging people to come out and help and um, many hands make for light work so we'd love to have everybody on board. You can contact them through Facebook, their website or just speak to one of the staff at the conservatory. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Janice Gummison.